and thank you so much for tuning in to the Prophetic Marriage Ministry. My name is Shannon, if this is your first time, and I want to welcome you to my channel. So I have a prophetic word from the Lord today, and that word is... Your spouse is lost without you. My God today. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So today I have a lyrical message from the Lord, but I also have scripture as well to back up some things that I'm saying. Well, pretty much everything that I'm saying. And yeah, your spouse, they are lost without you. They feel lost without you. And this video is for those of you who are in separation and who think your spouse is not thinking about you, your spouse doesn't care about you, your spouse is doing so well without you. This is not true. Not true at all whatsoever. Now, I know the enemy can make you feel like, oh, your spouse is just having a party and, and maybe even on the internet, it can seem as if your spouse is having this wonderful time. But at the end of the day, you are the helpmate of that man. And if you are a, a man, that woman is your helpmate and she needs you, okay? And so I'm not saying that we're nothing without our spouses and I'm not saying they're nothing without you because we have God and when you have God, you have everything. But when God calls you to a person in marriage, when God calls you to be in covenant with a person, when God calls you to be that person's rib, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, there is something that God needs the, the two of you to do together. And so the other person, they can run all they want and they may act like they don't need you. But at the end of the day, when they lay their head on their pillow, they're not getting much rest or they're having dreams about you. They're feeling this deep regret, this deep pain. And some of you may be like, well, how come they, they ain't reached out to me yet if that's the case? Well, God has to get them through, through this process. And many of them feel as if they're not worthy of you. Many of them feel as if they don't have no business talking to you. Some of them think that you've even moved on. Some of them are nervous to confront you, nervous to say anything to you again. And so we have to pray for these spouses. My dog says hello. <laughs> so yes, we have to pray for these spouses because they're in a very dark space right now and this will not last forever this is why god has assigned you to their life to pray for them to be there for them to stand in the gap for them and for some of you god is wanting you to reach out but 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 some of you the lord wants you to wait a little bit before you reach out or your spouse is going to reach out to you and you have to consult the lord with whatever he wants you to do concerning this but your spouse is lost without you. And so I have a lyrical message. And the song that the Lord has given me is Mary J. Blige, I'm Going Down. <laughs> okay. And so I'm just going to start reading it. It says, time on my hands. Since you've been away, boy, I ain't got no plans. No, 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 no. <laughs> For some of you, your spouse is like, I got too much time on my hands. You know, some of your spouses thought when they stopped talking to you or you may be in communication. You may be. Let me just add that too, because some of you are in communication or you are in staggered communication and your spouse is not giving you their all. You know, they're kind of like they're there and speaking with you, but their heart is not really in it. And so they still feel lost because they have not completely and totally submitted to the plans of God. OK. Um, and so moving forward, they're like, I got so much time on my hands, you know, my mind is just roaming all around, you know, and they're like, it's nothing really like for me to do if I'm not stepping into purpose with my husband, with my wife, if I'm not going back to them, then it just feels like it's just pointless because they're not in purpose. You know, I'm not saying that without you, they're going to like not do well or not live well yeah they're really not going to do well if god has called you two to be together in marriage and if they don't submit and obey which they will submit and obey but they're like i ain't got no plans i ain't got nothing to do like this is crazy like i didn't stop talking to this lady and some of your spouses stopped talking to you thinking that it was going to be good for them and so now they're sitting around looking crazy and now they're like oh shoot now i gotta go back with my tail tucked between my legs <laughs> You know, because they ran away out of frustration or anger, or maybe it was no type of argument or anything, but just like I said, that disconnect, you know, emotionally. 
Okay, um, now let me go forward. It says, and the sound of the rain against my window pane is slowly, is slowly driving me insane. Boy, I'm going down. <laughs> I'm going down, cause you ain't around, baby. My whole world's upside down. So your spouse is like, I'm going down. I'm going down. <laughs> cause you ain't around. My whole world is upside down. Your spouse is like, I'm going crazy. <laughs> I need this man. I need this woman, Lord. Help me, Jesus. And they acting silly, y'all, because all they got to do is call you. All they got to do is text you. All they got to do is knock on your door. You ain't mad at them, you know, and maybe you did end it kind of mad at them, but your anger has subsided and now you're ready to receive them with love. And if your anger has not yet subsided, I highly encourage you to calm down, ask the Lord to help you forgive and receive them with love. Because if you don't, all they're going to do is run away again and then they're going to be afraid to come back to you. So, you know, and, you know, just ask the Lord to help you with this, because like I said, this is not an easy journey. And so we have to be led by the Holy Spirit and ask God to help us continuously. <laughs> OK, so um, moving forward, it says um, sleep don't come easy. Boy, please believe me. Since you've been gone, everything's going wrong. OK, so your spouse can't sleep and they like, let me tell you something. This, this is crazy. <clears throat> this ain't been something that's easy for me. My nose be itching every time. You know what? I feel like there's something spiritual with that, with the, with the tickle on the nose, you know, um, that's, it's weird because when I'm giving messages, sometimes my nose start itching or oftentimes my nose starts itching. So I don't know. Somebody was telling me about that being like some type of, I don't know. I don't really know for sure, <laughs> but anyway, Sleep don't come easy. Boy, please believe me. Since you've been gone, everything's going wrong. And your spouse is like, everything is just like up in flames right now. I need to go back to my wife. I need to go back to my husband. I need to go back to the woman that the Lord has called me to marry. I need to go back to the man that the Lord has called me to marry. Okay. It says, um, why'd you have to say goodbye? Look what you've done to me. I can't stop these tears from falling from my eyes. And some of you, you may have walked away from your spouse not knowing that God wants you to stand, but then you realize that God wants, God does want you to stand. And so you're waiting on your spouse to come back to you because you feel like they should be the one to come back to you. But let me just give you a little encouragement. You better go and reach out to your spouse and let them know if you have not done this already. Some of you have already done this already. And the Lord has prompted you to just kind of wait. Well, not kind of the Lord has told you to wait now and allow God to work in your spouse's heart. But if you have not done this yet and you were the one to walk away, then go back to your spouse and you know, and I understand why you walked away because they were frustrating you. They were not operating in the way that they should have, but let this be Holy Spirit led. Okay. If God has not prompted you to go back as of yet, then, you know, don't go off of what just a human being says. Okay. But I'm just giving you what the Lord has given me, but ultimately let your ultimate um, whatever your action is after this video, let it be confirmation from the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And so it says, look what you've done to me. I can't stop these tears from falling from my, from my eyes. Oh baby, I'm going down. Um, what did it say? Yeah, I'm going down. Cause you ain't around my whole world's upside down and going on. It says, um, Oh, going down, going down. Oh, I don't know what to do. If I ever lose you, I'll be going down. I said, I'll be going down. <laughs> they're like if I ever lose you what am I going to do I might as well just like like and and unfortunately oh my gosh holy spirit some of your spouses are like suicidal thinking suicidally because you have not been dealing like you know you have not been talking to them and some of them they don't even realize that you know what if I go back into communication with this person, then they will be able to help aid me through this pain. And if they have not realized it yet, God is realized, like God is showing them and helping them realize it. And God is like, Hey, like if you just go on back to what I say it, you know, they'll help you to, you know, lead and guide them to deliverance because we're pointing them to the father. We are not their God. We are not their God. Okay. But God is using us to help them, to aid them in their salvation and deliverance. But yeah, 
And so the next part says, oh, please forgive me, baby. I'm so sorry, 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 sorry. So your spouse is... <laughs> I'm just laughing because God is so funny with this whole, you know, lyrical message sometimes because I don't even be thinking about these songs and the Lord just be laying it on my heart. But it says, I'm so sorry, 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 sorry. What did I do wrong? I said, what did I do wrong? And some of your spouses, they, they know what they did wrong, but they just trying to act like they don't know, like what I do, what I do. But God is going to lead them and guide them into all truth. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And it says, please forgive me, baby, and come on home. Going down, going down, going down. So your spouse is wanting your forgiveness. Your spouse is going to come back and ask you for your forgiveness. Okay. And it may not be immediate because everybody's process is different your spouse may come back beating around the bush and like hey i'm just calling to see what you're going you know what what you got going on i'm just calling to check on you see what's happening you know but some of them will come back and be like oh my gosh like you know all pride will be gone but some of your spouses are still dealing with pride so when they come back they may not be as like open but continue to pray against this pride excuse me because this pride has been a pain in everybody's butt okay and even you have been in pride at, at a point in time in this journey and i have been in pride at a point in time in this journey so we got to defeat that pride right now in the mighty name of jesus i'm sick of that pride i rebuke you in the name of jesus so yes that's the whole song but i do have a scripture that the lord has given me you know um right now your spouse may not admit to what they have said what they have done right now but the holy spirit is going to guide them into repentance they're going to guide them to be honest with you come clean to begin to pursue if they're a man if, if they're a man you know the way that they should and so um this is john chapter 16 verses 13 and it reads but when he the spirit of truth comes he will guide you into all the truth he will not speak on his own he will speak only what he hears and he will tell you what is yet to come and so your spouse is going to come clean this is another video that i have made before previously Okay, your spouse is going to be honest. They're going to be open with you. They're going to, like, their eyes are going to be opened into who you are fully and completely. And some of them already know. And some of them are kind of coming around to it. Some of them are afraid to mention it yet because they're not ready to step into that role of husband and wife. Or they may not be ready to reconcile as of yet because they feel like they're not ready or whatever the case is. But the spirit of truth is going to guide them into all truth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Okay. And this is your confirmation that your spouse is like... They ain't, they don't they don't do too good without you. <laughs> they don't do too good without you and it's just like, "Oh, poor spouse," you know? And you know, God loves them. God loves them and I know you have unconditional love for them. I'm just laughing cuz I'm silly and I'm just that's just me sometimes, you know. Um, but God loves them so much. So don't think that, you know, Jesus doesn't love them. Don't think that, you know, that they aren't um good people because they are you know we all go through a season sometimes of like darkness and some people they've been through so much they're so oppressed by their past or through just whatever the enemy has deceived them in for like a long time and so we have to give them grace and forgiveness and your reward will be great okay god is going to bless you for your steadfastness and you know just just hang in there you know hang in there in the mighty name of jesus but yes if you feel led to sow into this word i will leave the information in the description and in the comment section below and if you do decide to sow a seed put in the comment section um me and my spouse will be together and we'll be happy in jesus name or we will live in joy in jesus mighty name because i don't want to say anything negative like oh your spouse is lost without you like that's not really good <laughs> to say but um if you even if you don't so put a prophetic declaration in the comment section and remind yourself me and youtube and even the devil and let everybody know the prophetic positive declaration put it in the comment section my spouse is coming back in jesus name and they will be repentive in the name of jesus whatever you want to say that is a prophetic declaration and if you have already sown i want to thank you so much in the mighty name of jesus i pray that the lord increases your seed a thousand fold hallelujah glory to god and also if you feel led to book a coaching session come on and go to the booking site i do one hour coaching 30 minute coaching two hour coaching and i do couples counseling so make sure you change it to your time zone when you're booking so that it can be you know so that we can be on one accord when we're meeting up and also you will receive 
a Zoom link after you make the payment, your your confirmation email will have the Zoom link, so it won't be a phone call. So yes, don't be afraid. If God has been calling you to book a session with me and you've been nervous because you're shy or you think that your situation is crazy, there is nothing too crazy. There is nothing that's off limits to talk about. You can be vulnerable. You can talk about whatever. It will stay in the session with you and I. If, if anybody understands, trust and believe I understand. Some of you don't have anyone to talk to. Some of you just need some clarity. Some of you just, you know, want to vent. Whatever you need concerning this kingdom marriage journey, if God has led you to book a session, and if God only, because I don't want just any, any random people booking a session, you know. I mean, granted, you know, I love everybody in Jesus' mighty name. If God leads you to book a session with me, I welcome you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay? So, yes, yes, yes. And thank everybody so much who has already booked a session. Thank you for sewing into the ministry. Like the video if it has resonated with you. Share it with a friend if you feel like it will help them. Um, subscribe if you feel led. But I want to thank you so much for tuning in to the Prophetic Marriage Ministry. And I will see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.